Hello my friends, welcome back to another STEAM activity. Today we are going to be making a Q-tip crossbow. Now this one kind of fell apart a little bit, but when we're done, it's gonna look something like this. And we are going to be able to use it to launch Q-tips across the room. So for this craft, you are going to need four popsicle sticks. You're going to need two buttons of some kind. Uh, we don't have buttons here. So I'm going to use these bottle caps as them, or as you can see over here, we used a little pin. So really anything that's a circle, you could probably even use some corks. Next up, you are going to need a rubber band. And you wanna make sure that your rubber band is a little bit thicker. You wanna make sure that it's not one that's super thin because otherwise it won't work out as well. So something like this isn't going to work as well. You are also going to need a hot glue gun. Now for this one, you are going to need your parents to help you with this. This is not something that you can do on your own. You will also need a straw or lots of straws, some scissors, and your Q-tips for launching. So your first step over here is you can start off by painting your Q-tips another color. I'm not going to do that just because I think I like this this way and maybe I'll add some glitter glue when we're done. But if you want, you can make these a nice bright color. You are going to take your two Q-tips and take your hot glue gun. Remember, ask a parent for help with this. You want to make sure you don't burn yourself. So we are going to take this popsicle stick and just make a little line of glue going down the popsicle stick. And once we've got that there, we'll glue the other popsicle stick right on top of it, just like so. Now, your next step is to glue the other two together. So once again, taking that hot glue gun and you're gonna be super careful, don't wanna burn any fingers, Honestly, sometimes I even need my mom and dad to help me make these because they are tricky. It's hard to do them without burning your fingers. So asking for help with this is a-okay. So once again, we're taking that second popsicle and oh so carefully squeezing them together. You want to make sure you're squeezing gently so that the hot glue gun doesn't come, the hot glue doesn't come out the sides because then it's hot and it can hurt. So now you should have two little sticks made out of two popsicle sticks each. So they'll be a little bit thicker. So we are going to have one that is the handle and one that's a crossbar. So you're going to make it a little bit like a cross right here. And you're going to put the crossbar about a quarter of the way down your handle, like so. And then you're going to glue that in place, again, using your hot glue gun. So just a little dot right there. And voila, you have got yourself a nice handle and crossbar. So you're going to want to make sure that your, you, for the next step, you take this and you make sure that this handle or crossbow crossbar is on the bottom you want to make sure it's not on the top so next up you are going to take your buttons and you're going to glue them on the ends just a couple centimeters away from the end of that i'm going to go pick up my button there we go and i'm going to glue that on again we are using the hot glue. And again, please be careful. I do not want any burnt fingers. That would ruin the fun of making these crossbows. And then it would be kind of hard to pull on them. So I have one button on my crossbow. And now a second. Did you guys know that this week is free book week? So we are giving out books on the book bike that you get to keep. You don't have to return them to the library after you're done reading them. So, if you come find us, mom or dad, check Facebook 
or Twitter for the dates and times, um, you can come and find us and make, grab your very own books. So, your next step. Take a straw. Make sure it's a straw that is wide enough that you can fit your Q-tip in it. This one's kind of fits, but not quite. So I'm going to take a slightly wider straw. Like this one. And I'm going to test it by putting my Q-tip in. And yes, it fits through that really well. So you are going to take this straw and you're going to cut about six to eight inches of, or centimeters in length. So I'm going to cut just a little bit shorter than this uh, Q-tip. That's a good way to measure it. So I'm going to take a careful trim right here. Whoop! My straw went shooting out there, but there we go. I have my little straw. You are going to want to glue that on the front of your crossbow, about here. So you're going to take that hot glue once again and just put a little line down the middle of your top bar, your handle. And you're going to glue that down. And you're going to want to let that sit for just a little while so that it can dry. So I'm going to take a pause and let it dry and I'll be back right away. All right, friends, I have finished that up. We've got our straw, we've got the two buttons. And now you're going to take your rubber band. Remember this wants to, you want this to be a little bit thick this way and you want it to be a big elastic you want it to be able to stretch across everything so you are going to take it and run it on the end of your crossbow across the buttons so just like this you want it to go across your buttons and then you're going to pull your elastic down behind the straw and you are ready to go so now you can take your q-tip put it in the straw you're going to pull back on the elastic and line up the elastic with the back of the q-tip this sometimes take a, takes a little bit of practice because it's kind of hard to get but once you do get it you can pull back whoop i pulled too far don't do that once you get it, you pull back on the elastic and you're going to hold on the back and on the side so you won't get caught in the elastic and release. Oh no, that didn't work very well. Maybe I need to make it extra snappy. So this is part of the steam part of this. Sometimes we have to experiment to make sure we've got it going the best way. So I'm going to wrap it around my buttons a second time. That way it's stretched out even more and it'll snap with more power. So let's try this again. This is part of trial and experimentation. So this is a really important part of doing science. You've got to try things out several times to see how they work. And if they don't work, figure out a new thing that you can do that might make it work better. All right, take two. Oh, all right, I'm going to do a little bit of adjusting and then I'll come back. I think I've got it. So I'm going to give it a little countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No, okay. So let's see again. What more can we do? We can stretch it over the front like this so that it's even tighter. All right, let's grab a new Q-tip and try that again. So when you're doing science, it doesn't matter if you fail at first. When you're trying new things out, it's okay to make mistakes because making mistakes is how we learn and grow. If we just gave up, we wouldn't be able to get our crossbow going and that would be kind of not fun. I think I'd be kind of sad if I did all this work and just could not get it to go. So let's try again. I'm going to make sure I've got the elastic right on the end of that Q-tip. All right. All right, so it got caught on my finger that time. Let's try again.
going to flip it around so that I'm using the side that is more well built and put together on the Q-tip. Because once you've tried this a couple times, it might make the end of your Q-tip a little bit messy. So it helps if you go on a less messy side. So trying again, got the elastic lined up right on the back of my Q-tip. I've got my fingers nice and safely out of the way so they won't stop it. And three, two, one. There we go. All right, my friends. This is going to take a little bit of trial and error, but I promise you once you get it working, it is going to be so much fun. And you can take these and shoot them around the house. Since they're Q-tips, they're not gonna hurt. Have a fantastic day, my friends, and I'll see you out on the book bike. Bye-bye.